Hey guys, this is Night Flame, and today, guys, I'm giving you a comic book haul for the first week of October. Sorry, guys, let me get this center up. And um, yeah, first week of October, not a lot of things going on. I'm sorry that I totally missed on that She Hulk thing. I uh, this is the video where you guys um, you know, can enter the contest. I'm gonna put in more comics, so it's not only gonna be She Hulk, it's gonna be more comics because I failed you guys on September, but now I'm gonna give you more comics. Um, I'm going to include one 3D cover for the month of September, uh, which was the Future's End uh, thing. I'm going to uh, include that. And I'm going to include mostly um, things that surprised me. That's going to be the theme out of it. Things that surprised me. And we're going to see uh, what you guys going to be kind of like a little grab bag and stuff. You don't know what's going to be inside. But um, one thing that's going to be that I can announce, it's going to be She-Hulk. And the other one is going to be that 3D uh, month cover. That 3D Future Zen thing. Okay, so yeah, let's start off. First, we get Spider Verse issue number four. All of them have surprised me. All of them are superb, especially the Gwen Stacy one. That's my favorite one so far. This one looks incredible. You can only expect a lot from this. It's it's a cool, um, you know, comic. The cover is awesome by Gary Brown. Obviously, I can tell his art. Uh, it's it's like told in a scary way, so it's horror. I'm definitely excited for this one. Next, we get Thor. Um, number one, definitely excited for this one as well. One of my most expected titled uh, releases. I will really want to see who this new Thor is. And Russell Dutterman's art is incredible. One reason I read Cyclops was because of his art and Greg Rucka. Um, but, you know, since they both left, um, this is kind of my replacement for it. So I hope it's good enough for me to pick up issue number two. Next, we get Gotham Academy issue number one. Um, I'm trying this because it's different. And I like how DC is doing this. Uh, you know, it's kind of like following the marble train that this is different. It's not like the same thing we've seen before. This is Gotham Academy and it's different. Like I said, I'm sorry guys, I didn't repeat it different so much times, but it is different. Um, you know, it just doesn't, it's not about superheroes, it's about new things. and It's kind of like people in Gotham, how do they live by it? And you know, we have the awesome Becky Cloonan writing this. We usually see her art, but now she's on writing duties and I'm excited for that. Brendan Fletcher is here as well and Carl Kirsch. Uh, and Brendan Fletcher will be next week on Bad Girl, which is too hyped up. I mean, not too hyped up. It's hyped up enough, and I love how they're hyping it up. Hopefully, uh, Bad Girl becomes that top bestseller that it deserves to be. Next, we go to Grayson, issue number three. Um, you know, it's awesome cover. Michael Jannon's art is incredible. I'm definitely excited what they're going to do with the title. And I love it how if you flip it up, it looks like uh, it looks right. But Grayson is backwards, so I love this trippy cover. Awesome. Um definitely like i said a good series very underrated uh some people don't like it because of what they did with dick grayson but i really like what they're doing with dick grayson they're putting him in situations that we haven't seen before and it's exciting to see it so i'm excited for this issue and i'm excited for to see where the title is going which has a really cool clear direction and i'm excited <laughs> next uncanny avengers issue number 25 um i've been out for this series because of their that very long story arc but i missed it i missed it and i felt like i should have read that long story arc because you know even though it dealt with uh, alternate universes uh you know it had characters i enjoy and i'm back and sadly i feel like this is the last issue because it hasn't been solicited um you know in november and december and i feel like this is the last um issue for uncanny avengers uh, Remender is on writing duties and Acuna is on um, art and his art is superb like I, I love his art guys check check it here we see that it's, this is really cool art really clear cool art next from Image Comics I picked up The Walking Dead The Walking Dead um love this uh, issue totally loved it um I mean, sorry guys, love the cover. I'm so out of it because I'm sick. I'm sorry guys. I uh, love the cover here. We have Maggie and we have a baby. Um, cool cover. We, we're in a clear direction here as well, but I feel like it's going really slow. Uh, but yeah, even though it's going really slow, I still do enjoy this issue. And that is The Walking Dead. Um, I totally enjoy it. I mean, I totally enjoy the series. Great series that we've been having from Image Comics, and it's 132 issues in and still kicking our ass. So yeah, great stuff. Then we have um Justice League issue number 34. Great cover here by Jason Fabic, but he is not doing the art. Um, you know, instead we have Carl, uh, Scott Collins, who I think he did the art for Jeff Johns' run on Flash. But look at the cover. The cover is sweet. We have awesome Wonder Woman, um, Batman, Flash, Superman. 
Captain Cold, Lex Luthor, uh, Shazam, uh, Aquaman, Jessica Cruz, Power Ray, and Cyborg. Really cool cover. The art here, though, it looks way different, and I don't like how they don't have a stable artist. I really would have liked to see Jason Fabic, um, you know, make his work on this. But, you know, we still have Scott Collins, and um, his art is pretty solid, though. Yeah, so next, we have, last but not least, we have um, Green Arrow issue number 35. I um, really wanted to try it. I was I was deciding to either pick up this or Lobo. Uh, Lobo to me it dealt more with um you know intergalactic stuff, so I decided to pick this one up. From the cover you can see that the art is not that well. It looks like you know it's really weird limbs. His position is weird. Just look at that. It's just a weird position. I feel like see smoke is on the cover though, which is really interesting. We have Diggle, Lex Luthor, and Batman. We'll see how they play out. But excited for this one, and we'll see what we get. So yeah. Um, and that's, that's my comic book haul, guys. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Definitely, um, you know, definitely, sorry, guys. Definitely, you know, like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also, like this video and comment if you want to be entered in that, um, She-Hulk giveaway. I will be, if you guys didn't know, I will be giving out, like I said, in the start of the video, um, issue, She-Hulk issue number one, signed by the one and only the mastermind, Charles Soul. And, um, other than that, it's going to be, you know, more comics and with a theme it's going to include a theme i'm going to include more comics because i failed you uh, i was supposed to make this contest up on september but now i'm going to put it in october and the theme i'm going to give you is going to be um you know sorry guys the theme i'm going to give you is um comics that surprise me so we're going to see so like i said thanks for watching guys hope you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and uh, pick up all these comics they deserve support and like i said if you like my reviews pick it up so, once again guys, thanks for watching and hope you like this video. Goodbye.